Hi guys, my name's Anthony Cummins, as you may or may not know, and I'm a historical researcher. Right, we'll get straight to it. I want to start a series, a small series of videos with Dean. That's Dean Scott Bias is dead. And I want to see if, uh, I was talking to Dean online, and see if he wants to interact um, in a positive, um, fact-finding way. So today, I'm going to start with something he brought up in his last video, which was a very valid point. And I want to start an online discussion with him through you lot and everybody get together. So um, we're going to talk about Ninja Tool versus Ninja Weapon. Okay? Um, so that's still in the mists of people don't quite understand what's going on. So, but before we start, I want to highlight one point. We are speaking in English and we're using English terminology. So um, I'm going to now get the Oxford English Dictionary and explain the word tool. And now I'm going to explain the word weapon. Okay, so a weapon is something specifically designed to kill or hurt someone. A tool is specifically designed for a functional or functionality, okay, to get the job done. That, you know. Now, I'll talk about it later, but yes, a tool can be used as a weapon and a weapon can be used as a tool. But we are talking about its primary function and what it is designed for. Okay, so let's get to it. So here's a list of what I would consider ninja tools. Right, well what I want to do is break down um, this entire discussion into two separate columns. Two identifiably different areas we can put each of the weapon tools into. So let's go for number one. These are implements seen by other people. That is, it is, for example, the Iga Sawamura family and many other Iga Koga people have a piece of wood and a cord. Now what they do is they put this in the ground and they infiltrate with the cord. That is clearly seen by other people. It's a piece of wood and it's a string. It's not, you know, a hidden thing. For example, a camera, a sickle, used for farming. Shinobi used them as well. Um, it is seen by other people. So, in the hands of the shinobi, it is a normal implement by many other people, but it is used in the context of infiltration, shinobi, whatever you want to call it. So this, this brings us to shuriken, the one that everybody wants to talk about. Is, yes, they existed, but how shinobi were they? Where, when are they used as shinobi? So the point is they fit in category one. Even though they're a weapon or a tool, category one, they are seen by other people. They are not specifically used only by the ninja. In fact, as in my other video, there's a hardly any reference, if none, to the ninja using them. Area 2. These are tools of specific ninja design. These are things that are seen only by ninja. Yeah? So, for example, the water spider, which is the floating seat, yeah? and the secret um, flippers. That, we can safely say, is only seen in Fujibayashi's manual. It was kept secret within that manual, and it is a ninja tool, 100%. While other floating devices exist, that specific typology and that specific design are definitely ninja. Unless we find it outside the ninja manual, then it's not. Whereas in contrast, you've got um, water shoes, or sorry, you've got marsh shoes, which are boards which fit on your feet. Now farmers use those, many people use those. So on one hand you've got a ninja with a secret foldable floating device and on the other hand you've got um, marsh shoes that ninja use but are used in everyday farming. So we see that you can divide those into category 1 or category 2. So, just to be clear, so far we have to decide is it a ninja tool, is it a ninja weapon, yep. Then we have to decide is it only seen by ninja or is it seen by everyone and used by ninja as well? Then divide them into those categories. Yep. And we'll start to separate where everything should go in its correct order. So what I want to happen here is I want us to go through all of the ninja tools, the ninja weapons, and we'll do it probably if you want to join the conversation, we'll be on the historical ninjutsu research team page, Facebook page. Dean, you might as well come and join us there. 
Or, what I'll do is we'll put the comments in the below on this video. And what I'll do is when Dean replies, or if he replies, he might not have time, I know he's busy. Um, I'll put his video there and Dean, you put your, this video in yours and we'll get it going. So Dean, what I want you to do is uh, I want you to use my methodology and go through what you think should go where and highlight anything that you think is specifically only ninja and that is not. Again, everybody, these, this is just so we can all start piecing it together as one big team, even though we're from different factions. So there's no tricks here, there's none of that. It's all about um, trying to sort out the stuff. Okay, one thing we need to avoid is it can be used as a weapon. Okay, so p some people say, oh, um, like, I, let's take the water spider. Yeah, if a ninja was being attacked, he could use it for arm lock and smash the guy in the face. Yes, he could. However, that's not its primary function. So look at its primary function for this, okay? So none of those, it could be a weapon because he may defend himself. No, if you pick it up, what's its purpose, all right? So what we're going to do is divide it, let's go, we're going to go, is it a tool or is it a weapon? Is it seen by everyone and used by ninja? Is it only used by ninja? Then after all the comments, we'll try and get someone, probably JJ, to um, list them all in their separate columns and we'll produce a PDF and put it online. So, good luck. So Dean, when you've got time, answer that and let's get some questions going between our two groups. Okay guys, upcoming book news, all right? Um, what I wanna say is, at the moment, if you are interested in getting the new version of the Nimpiden, now we're calling it Shinobi Hiden, with the Gunpo Joshu, which was originally this book, it was originally True Ninja Traditions, it's now being this book here. It's being published by Blue Snake and it is out very, very soon, like within the next 10 days, I think. So get on there, get it pre-ordered before it goes up in price. Remember, Amazon pre-order is cheaper, so get on there. Also, one of our newest books just come on Amazon is this one here. This is a collection of samurai stories. Again, pre-order it, guys, because the publisher loves pre-order, and it means they speed up the process for the next book. So uh, this is three 1600s documents, and it's all about techniques. It's about stories given by samurai. It's about how to do something. Lots and lots of tricks, information, and just a whole new thing. And it's not ninja. It's all about samurai and ashigaru, things like that. So go on there and learn how to, uh, for example, find buried treasure when you raid in a village. Or how to stop your wounds bleeding and things like that. There's lots of information there. And lastly, my Viking book is just out. So the Viking book is out now. And just to give you a quick flick through, you'll see it's full of cool pictures done by Jason Kane. There. There's even, for those people who absolutely... Um, get angry with my work there is a beautiful picture of me holding my own head so uh, there it is now that's online taken from the um, Viking sagas so uh, that's out and ready to go guys uh, I think in America you've got a few weeks to wait right okay speak to you soon Dean and I'll speak to everyone in a bit see you later my name is Anthony Cummings oh sorry by the way don't forget in the links below there'll be um, a click to my Facebook site so go to the Facebook site and it's all in the links below, so go check it there. Loads of free downloads on the website, so off you go. See you later.